Good morning, fourth graders. Here we are, um, Unit 8, Lesson 12. I'm on page 339 of my math book. Um, and this is actually our last lesson before the um, unit test for Unit 8, which is really good timing because we're completing it here on Friday and then um, we'll move into spring break. So here you can see that they've given us um, some pictures of flags from around the world. We can see there's the flag for the United States of America and then many other countries as well. The question asks, flags are used in many different ways. Some sports teams use flags to generate team spirit. A flag might be used to start a race or a homeowner might use a flag for decoration. States and countries also use flags as a representation of their communities. Each flag is different, both in color and design. What types of quadrilaterals are used in the Kuwait flag? So this lesson will be all about identifying quadrilaterals, triangles, angles, lines in real life basically and they're using flags as an example of things that we would see in real life. So let's check out the flag for Kuwait. We'll zoom in here. We've got four different colors, black, white, green, and red. And the question um, asked us what types of quadrilaterals are used? Okay. So if I look, I just first of all need to figure out how many quadrilaterals are in here. And remember, a quadrilateral has how many lines? Four, it has four sides actually would be the better way to say that, four sides. So I see that the green shape has four sides, one, two, three, four. The white one, one, two, three, four. Black, one, two, three, four. And red, one, two, three, four. So I've got four quadrilaterals in here. What types of quadrilaterals do I have? Well, let's start out with the most obvious one, the one in the middle there. What type of quadrilateral do I have there? If you said rectangle, you would be correct. I see some right angles here. Um, remember though that a rectangle is um, a pretty specific term. It's almost as picky as a square. Um, but when something is a rectangle, it's also other things. And I just like to remind you of that when we're looking at shapes because the bigger terms also still apply. Here's what I mean by that. Is this shape still a quadrilateral? Yes, it has four sides. Is it still a parallelogram? Yes, it is a parallelogram because it has two pairs of sides that are parallel, two opposite sides that are parallel to each other. Okay, so kind of thinking about that and remembering that even though the ship is the, the ship, the shape is obviously a rectangle, it still does get classified in other categories as well. Okay, let's look at the green one. So um, maybe I'll kind of start with the more broad term this time. Is the green shape a quadrilateral? Yes, we have um, discovered that already. Is this shape a parallelogram? It is not a parallelogram because remember a parallelogram has to have both opposite sides parallel. Yes, this green one has the top and the bottom parallel, but the sides are not parallel to each other. Those sides would never meet, so not parallel to each other. Um, is it a rhombus? I'll throw another one in there. No, it's not a rhombus because all the sides are not equal to each other. Also, a rhombus would have to have uh, two sets of parallel sides. Uh, the only answer that we have for this is that lonely shape. Remember the one that was all by itself a couple lessons ago? A trapezoid, because a trapezoid is still a quadrilateral and it only has one set of parallel lines. That the green one's a trapezoid, I'm guessing the red one's a trapezoid too, right? Because it's basically the same shape this flag is symmetrical. If you drew a line here, it would be the same if you folded it over itself. What about the black shape? What do you think? If you said that the black shape is also a trapezoid, you would be correct. So all four of these shapes are quadrilaterals. Um, they're all polygons too, by the way, which is an even broader term. Um, and uh, three of them are trapezoids. One of them is a rectangle. Um, there's some other questions here at the bottom of the page too, and you'll have some questions like this in your assignment on um, Clever Math Expressions today. How many designs have no parallel lines? Name the flag. So this one's kind of fun to look at. How many designs have no parallel lines? Now, um, 
in years past, some kids have said, wait, they all have parallel lines because the flag actually makes a rectangle, so they're parallel. Notice that they didn't say how many flag shapes, they said how many designs inside the flag. So for example, looking at the flag of Japan, it does not have any parallel sides because the design inside it is just a circle. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're not looking at the, you know, the border of the flag. Obviously they're all in a rectangle, but the design inside, there are no parallel lines in there. Can you find any other flags that don't have parallel lines? I see Bangladesh does not have parallel lines. Laos doesn't have parallel lines. Ooh, this one here. I'm not very good at pronouncing all country names, sorry. Guyana, you can double check me on that. Um, that one doesn't have parallel lines either because look, this black line and this white line are not parallel to each other. Mm, that's interesting because at first I thought it did, but it actually doesn't. So that one doesn't. So anyway, it's just kind of fun to explore and challenge your brain a little bit and start looking at some of the different designs that we see in real life and apply what we've learned. Um, number three, how many designs have perpendicular lines? Name the flags. So remembering that perpendicular lines form a right angle where they touch. So obviously Paraguay has perpendicular lines. The one that we were looking at earlier, Kuwait has perpendicular lines. Anytime two lines come together and make a right angle. Denmark, perpendicular lines. Switzerland, perpendicular lines. A lot of these flags are covered in perpendicular lines, but there are some that don't have them. Obviously the ones who didn't have uh, these circle ones, they also don't have perpendicular as well as parallel. But check out India. Wait, never mind. Actually it does because there would be perpendicular right there. Sorry about that. Um, Interesting though, because there's not a line going down there. I think in, I think you could argue either way on the flag of India because there isn't technically a line going down. Therefore, I think one could say that the design itself does not have two perpendicular lines. Okay, and then number four, which designs have at least two lines of symmetry? So that would mean that you could fold the flag over itself one way and it would be symmetrical and then the other way would also be symmetrical. Okay, so have fun with those, look them over, complete in your lesson. Um, on the back of this page, the last uh, page of the unit, it, it gives you a little design challenge, which might be fun to try. Um, design your own flag in the space below. Your flag design should include each of the following, one triangle, one pair of parallel lines, and one 30 degree angle. A 30 degree angle is going to be tricky for you to make at home, but if you do wanna try this challenge, remember that, and you could do it up here kind of in this space, we know how to draw a 90 degree angle. That one we for sure know. And we know that if we split it in half, hopefully you remember, because this is something that we need to learn for this unit, that's 45 degrees. So if I know that that's 45 and it's asking me for a 30, without a protractor, I could make an angle that is smaller than my 45. I would say this is about 30 degrees. Again, I'm not using a protractor. I have no way of measuring it specifically, but that's okay. I can I can estimate on these kinds of things and it's an, it's another really good life skill to be able to do that. So take what you know and come up with what it's asking for. Okay, and then there's a couple questions down at the bottom just asking you questions um, with your flag design um, if you're able to do that. All right, fourth graders, do your best on this. This will be your last assignment before our unit test, which we will be taking after spring break. Happy Friday.